Fish are an important world food source. These animals provide us with meat to eat that are of high quality protein and rich in vitamins and minerals. We each consume approximately 25 kilograms of seafood each year. But due to the rising population and use of super trawlers, two thirds of the world's fish stocks are overfished or fished to their limits. With rising global competitiveness, fisheries have aimed to become more efficient at the price of sustainability. Going further out to the sea for longer with fewer boats and bigger nets limits the overuse of super trawlers. The world faces major consequences of overfishing. These include a threat to our oceans and ecosystems and reduction in biodiversity. Additionally, super trawlers pose environmental impacts such as pollution from oil and liquid spills as well as chemical and solid elements discharged into the water. This documentary will demonstrate the sustainability assessment process to achieve a sustainable super trawler practice. What are your goals to achieve a sustainable fishery in the future? By reducing the bycatch, we can achieve a much more sustainable management approach. We aim to increase marine protected areas by 15% to have a sustainable fishery by 2030. What factors do you believe indicate sustainability of super trawlers? I believe the advanced research and technology that is utilised to increase scientific and economic awareness allows us to gain a deeper sustainability management system for super trawlers. Large vessels like the Geelong Star are taking a concerning share of fish, depriving fish population and economy. What are some solutions and actions to promote sustainability? Resource is expected to deplete primarily, but with more research to sustainable fisheries management and the promotion of seafood labelling to increase public awareness on what is and isn't sustainable, we are expecting numbers to rise again. Do you believe that super trawlers can become super good rather than super bad, as they say? <laughs> I firmly believe that with the rise of technological advances and ongoing research, we can increase the sustainability of super trawlers and have sustainable fishing for the future. Super trawler nets are capable of holding 13 jumbo jets worth of fish and bycatch and in the past have killed protected marine species, which is unacceptable. It's obvious that we can't stop super trawlers from fishing in Australia, but the amendment of current environmental legislations sheds a pathway towards a more sustainable approach to fishing with super trawlers. With the growing accuracy of technology, laws and fishing limits have become stricter. The use of electronic monitoring programs allows fishing, fishing vessels to be monitored by satellites and catches to be tagged and traced. To avoid exploitations of our fishing resource, the world must ensure that all large factory fishing vessels and fish populations are carefully monitored at all times to ensure they are replenished.